when you've got the breath, you've got good shelter. You could stay with the breath regardless of what else is going on outside, and you've got at least one spot in your awareness where you're safe. And then from that spot you can make forays out if the, the conditions are right, and otherwise, otherwise you stay right where you are. The important thing is that you remember this wherever you go, not just while you're here at the monastery. It's like camping equipment. You can buy really good camping equipment, and they've got it now so that you can camp way up in high mountains and way up near the North Pole and the South Pole. But if you leave your camping equipment at home, okay, then you're going to be sure to suffer. And even though it's really good equipment, it's not going to do you any good unless you keep it with you. It's the same with the meditation. You don't want to leave it just on your meditation cushion or just in the monastery. The skills we develop with the breath are skills to take with you. So when difficult situations arise, can you breathe easily and watch what's going on so you can see more clearly what needs to be done and what needs to be said, or if you should stay still for the time being. But you're in a better position to decide that because you're coming from a safe place. It's like being up on the slopes of Everest and looking out and there's a storm and you decide, well, can I, how far can I go before the storm hits? And you realize if the storm is going to come, okay, you go back into your tent. Okay, when the storm is too strong to fight, okay, you stay in your tent. When, it, when things calm down, then you can come out of your tent. So make sure you've got your equipment with you all the time. Because that's when it's going to serve a purpose. Buying a lot of nice equipment and then leaving it home and going out into the, into the wilderness is not going to help anything. So try to maintain what you've got, because it's there to help you.